Are you feeling all right? Yes, I just needed some rest. I feel great now. I envy you. Hmm? I think anyone would. You've been true to your beliefs after you resigned from Vector, after the Gnosis terrorism. I don't know. I mean, I'm not even really sure myself. And here I am, still doing the same thing I always have done. Not asking or thinking whether what I am doing is right or wrong. Are you regretting your participation in the development of Omega? Maybe. It's a weapon with absolute power, and no clear objective. And yet, I'm participating in its development, so I can prove myself to society. To clear the shame from the name Mizrahi. Do you think Cosmos's very existence is dangerous too? Xion, Cosmos isn't a weapon. It's probably strange for a scientist to say this. But I have a feeling that Cosmos possesses something very important. Something important. Unlike the human-based Reallians, Cosmos is composed entirely of machines. How much real difference do you think there is between the bundles of protein that make us and the machines that compose her? We're both a wave that make up this universe. The only difference is the number of ripples. I think if we have hearts and minds, then it's evident that she would have them as well. Do you think Cosmos possesses a heart? Isn't that what you wish? Maybe, but maybe not. I don't know what your thoughts and intentions were when you built her. But no matter what happens, I want you to believe in Cosmos. And more than anything else, you must believe the person who built her. Yourself. That's your duty as her creator. Yuli. Did Uli head back to the facility? Yes. She said she's going to get things ready for our infiltration. Okay, we should get started too! There's not much time. Stock up on anything you'll need. Let's meet in the lobby of Xion's hotel. We won't look suspicious meeting in town, and it's close to the facility. Is that okay with you, Xion? Sure, that's fine. Okay, let's get moving! <laughs>